Hi guys and welcome to another weekend clinic. This is the second installment in our series and ours is Tracy Banks, Mercy Tiara and myself. Um, we have the Doctors Are In series where we try to help you with your scrappy ailments. And today uh, or this weekend we are going to tackle older supplies and how to make them exciting and fun. So I will show you my supplies and then I will have two of those videos. Okay, so I pulled out a few things from my stash that are kind of old and I really try to purge, um, you know, once in a while so I don't get stuff that I'm not excited about. But these obviously survived <laughs> the purges <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to try. I, I still uh, see fun things about them even though uh, they're not the newest uh, products. This one is from an old American Crafts Valentine um, line, I think. There's another part to this sticker sheet, so I'm not sure if I still have it or I got rid of it. Um, and I don't know where it's from. This is Sassafras from no year on this, but it has to be pretty old. This one is from Basic Gray from 2011. I think uh, I don't have any more, uh, any older products than 2011 because that's when I started uh, scrapbooking. Um, these are some leftovers I have from uh, Lucky Charm and this is actually from another collection. Um, you know these paper pads, the huge ones that have 48 papers you really can never <laughs> um, use them up somehow. So I'm gonna try to pull some stuff from uh, this. I pulled this paper that I've been hoarding and hoarding. Um, this is an old Alison Kraft uh, Webster's Pages uh, paper and it's called Aerial View and the collection uh, is called Composition and Color. It's from I don't see a year, but I'm going to say also probably around 2013. Now what I'm going to do is really, really try not to use new stuff because uh, I really want this to be about, um, you know, using your old stash in a fun way. And the last thing I pulled, I really didn't want to spend a lot of time. Uh, I don't like going through uh, my stash. I like to just grab stuff and go. You know, I mean, I like to shop my stash, but I don't uh, <coughs> I don't want to do that for a long time. So I have these alphas. I'll probably go to my uh, stash when it's time for, um, you know, the title and um, embellishments, just because then I can have something more specific in mind and I don't have to waste time um, you know, pulling stuff, they might not work, then I have to go back. So um, I will leave that for later in my process. So this collection, there are a few here that I mixed. These are by Glitz Design, and uh, which I really love and are no longer. Uh, I really loved them because they were always kind of um, scrapbooking forward to me, kind of pushing the envelope with their designs. This was a kind of a child baby theme collection called Finley and this was wild and free and you can see that I used a lot of it but um, there's still some left so I have here some stickers I don't know this is actually something else that I stuck here in this bag <laughs> um, I'm also trying to look for things that are very generic uh, for example these alphas you know they're super cute and I think these are kind of timeless um, no matter what the current trends are and yeah I have some patterns here um, I will try not to pull out white cardstock <laughs> even though it's something that I kind of assume uh, most people have anyway 
um, we'll see how it goes if I find something that I can I still you know the point is to make something that I love that kind of goes with my current style um, and use old stuff so I don't want to make something that I don't like so we'll see how that uh, goes so those are just a bunch of random uh, old bits from my stash and um, yeah, I think I will put you now on fast forward and oh another thing I took is this box I have a few of these uh, these are kind of all of my uh, die cuts and I think I have kind of a box for crate paper and then a box for uh, Dear Lizzie a box for Maggie Holmes and it holds also things that um, that fit that style so uh, it has like a bunch of different manufacturers but uh, kind of with the same vibe so these are all also must be two three years old at least there's a ton of stuff here and I really need to do some uh, purging but there are some pieces that I remember like wanting to use over and over again uh, and somehow they didn't make it to the page for example this really adorable um, wind uh, wheel whatever it's called uh, which is from uh, one of the old crate paper collection I think it was called poolside and or maybe the one before I don't know uh, but you see I have some of these and they are gorgeous so it's really a shame that I haven't used them uh, so I'll try to dip into this one uh, for my embellishments I mean look at these they're so pretty they have these layered embellishments that I remember loving 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 uh, but you can see they stayed here so I didn't even try to put a lot of emphasis on matching styles you see here I have Glitz Design, Webster's Pages, Dear Lizzie, Crate, American Crafts and I think this one will have to go because this really doesn't go with anything which manufacturer is this? This is Echo Park. I think they had kind of a... Ooh, I remember that I really like this image. Well, so maybe I can use that because I'm very into black and white, even though this is a bit more distressed than what I like these days. But um, yeah, I can still make it work. I mean, look, that's fantastic. So, you know, really try and find the pieces that you like. And then other stuff here can be layers. For example, you know, you can only use this piece to show. The point is to use old stuff um, in an exciting way and you know this is for everyone but um, I think what kind of spoke to me about uh, doing this um, weekend clinic with Tracy uh, was that the person who asked us uh, said she can't um, buy new stash so she only has uh, older supplies and I really want to help her get excited about her old stash and show that you don't need to have the latest and the greatest to have fun and make something that you love so this is already super long um, I'll see you in the process part <laughs> 